Shalom. Okay, I'd like to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Barakat the Yahweh, Barakat the Yahweh Shai, Barakat the Yahweh, Barakat the Yahweh Shai, Barakat the Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Barakat the Wakakadash. Okay, double honors to our apostles and elders and bishops of the Great Millstone that rule well. And salutations and peace and much blessings to the hopeful elect of the children of Israel. All right, just want to speak on this. Uh, the Day of Atonement, just a few words and things you might want to consider and things to think about, just a few things to think about, you know, and especially concerning those that are, uh, that, that, that are not, that are not observing this day, that choose not to observe and that choose not to, uh, to, to hearken unto the word of the Lord of our power, Yahweh Shai, and choose not repentance, okay? And my point there is in the book of Job. I'll get that in a second, but let's just let's just hang in here. The Day of Atonement, which is an annual thing, and what's that? Um, it's an annual thing, um, just a once a year thing. Let me hold up. Give me a second here. It's an annual. That's this is Leviticus 23. It's an annual thing. Um, it sure tells you it's an annual thing. So there it is, an annual atonement. And this shall be a statute forever unto you that in the seventh month, on the tenth day of the month, ye shall afflict your souls and do no work at all, whether it be one of your own country or a stranger that soldier among you. An annual thing, just a once a year thing, annual, once a year. Annual. Annual. Occurring. Once every year, okay. What and, and, and imagine that. I mean, that's the reality. It it once every year, but Jake, the other Israel, man, that's the least thing they possibly can do for that one day of each year. From from evening to evening, you know, Jake lack of that self control. They lack of that restraint. They lack of discipline. You know, Jake can't, Jake eats just to eat all through the day, all through the night to get up in the middle of the night and grab them a, you know, a, 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 a some cold ham or a pork chop or any goddamn thing, man. Instead of practicing a, a fast. You know, that's something we're accustomed to now, which the elders and apostles have been pushing that. Better health, health exercise, health, better diet, you know. They've been pushing a thing called um, intermittent fasting. Look it up on your own. Intermittent fasting, that during the day, there's, so, there's, a, there's a certain amount of hours you don't eat at all. Drinking water is fine, but no food whatsoever for so many hours and then that a, a window there's a so many hours in a window that you can eat that 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 takes discipline it takes restraint you know and we'll get in that in a minute so right here in Leviticus is it um Here, 23, so like it. The Day of Atonement. And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Also on the tenth day of this month, also on the tenth day of this seventh month, there shall be a day of atonement. But Jake feels they don't have nothing to atone for. And again, you had all they they had all ample opportunity to to learn their heritage, man. They turned back to uh, the Lord our power, man. Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. You understand? Two thirds had every ample opportunity to turn back to our turn back to the true living power, man. You know, and to learn His ways, but they choose not to. You said it shall be a holy convocation unto you. And ye shall afflict your souls and offer an offering made by fire unto the Lord. 
Jake doesn't have that in them to afflict their souls, you know, which um, afflict uh, uh, just let me just get it and I'm gonna run through this quick I'm trying I'm not gonna make it too long you know it all you know you've heard all this but you know Lord willing this to reach the ears of someone that that doesn't know so to afflict oppress humble okay to afflict um Where's that? H G H six zero three zero, chastening self. Deal hardly with. Okay. Exercise force. Okay, so you're dealing hard, hardly hard with yourself. Dealing hardly with. Chastening yourself. So no food, no water, no food, no water from evening to evening, sundown to sundown. Let me get to the point. And ye shall afflict your souls in offering, offering made by fire unto the Lord. And ye shall do, and ye shall do no work in that same day, for it is a day of atonement to make an atonement for you before the Lord your power. For, and this is what I'm going to get for you in Job. For whatsoever, so it be that shall not be afflicted in that same day, he shall be cut off from among his people. And whatsoever, so it be that doeth any work in that same day, the same soul will I destroy from among his people. Ye shall do no manner of work. It shall be a statute forever throughout your generation and all your dwellings. It shall be unto you a Sabbath of rest. And ye shall afflict your souls in the ninth day of the month at even from even unto even. Shall ye celebrate your Sabbath. All right. So here we go in Job and dealing with the brother the young brother Elihu, 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 um, speaking on the behalf of Yahweh, all right, on how he deals with men. And this is his, Elihu also proceeded and said, and let's just go into his the meaning of his name, which I found interesting itself, which his name is, he is my power. <laughs> Beautiful. He is my power. So he says, suffer me a little and I will show thee that I have yet to speak on the Most High's behalf. I will fetch my knowledge from afar and will describe righteousness to my maker. For truly my word shall not be false. He that is perfect in knowledge is with thee. Behold, the Most High is mighty and despiseth not any he is mighty in strength and wisdom. He preserveth not the life of the wicked, but giveth right to the poor. He withdraweth not his eyes from the righteous. The, the, the righteous, who are the, who, who are the righteous? Those that are hearkening to his words, man. You know? But with kings are they on the throne, yea, he doth establish them forever, and they are exalted. And if they be bound in fetters and be holden in cords of affliction, then he showeth them their work and their transgressions that they have exceeded. He openeth also their ears to discipline, that word discipline, and commanded that they return from iniquity. That's what the Day of Atonement is all about. You know? During the day of atonement, you're, you're you're acknowledging your your wickedness, man, your iniquities. You see, but openeth his ears unto discipline, which the, the who Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai is not dealing with, the two thirds who's not hearkening to his word, those that practice no restraint, those that practice no self control.
to dis discipline. Discipline, chastening, correction. Discipline, correction, chastening. But the meaning I'm reaching for is restraint. Jake lacketh discipline. Jake lacketh restraint. Restraint. Look at this. A measure or condition that keeps someone or something under control or within limits. Unemotional, dispassionate, or moderate behavior. Self-control. Okay. Which now this to this point, it's discipline, self-control to observe the day of atonement. And again, the other Israel lacketh those qualities, man. They lacketh those good qualities. These niggas, man. Right now they got all different types of pork chops and, and swine in their fridge. And they'll be indulging, uh, you know, stuffing their mouths on the Day of Atonement. <laughs> a bunch of gluttonous, a bunch of gluttonous demons, man. He openeth also their ears to discipline and commandeth that they return from iniquity. If they obey and serve him, they shall spend their days in prosperity. And this ain't a prosperity doctrine. It's the prosperity and wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. And then Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai, well, he'll sustain you. From, he'll, 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 he'll help maintain you to make it to the end, man. You know? <laughs> not, to, not to blow up. <laughs> if they obey and serve him, they shall spend their days in prosperity and their years in pleasures. But if they obey not... Which again, that that's a that's a that's a that, that, that this is a commandment for forever, man. It's it's always been uh, a day that we're to observe. Ye shall do no manner of work; it shall be a statute forever, throughout your generations, in all your dwellings. <sighs> but if they obey not, they shall perish by the sword and they shall die without knowledge. But the hypocrites in heart heap up wrath. They cry not when he bindeth them. That's like they, they, they lack of understanding. They always ask him, why, 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 why? That, mean, that means they have no understanding, you know? They die in youth, and their life is among the unclean. You know, what makes them unclean besides all the, the, the foolish, uh, false gods they follow and make them unclean, a lot of the madness they eat, all the unclean foods they eat, and their wicked practices, man. They lack of restraint, you know, but sex on the Sabbath, sex in the booty. Ugh, man, these people are foul, man. Mm, these people are foul, man. Ain't no sex. And all, they're going to be all, just imagine. They're going to be living in their iniquities on that day. Just things to consider, man, that you, we're, we're blessed to have been brought up out of that, uh, that, uh, that, 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 dark, that dark state of mind, man. You know, we were, were blessed to be brought out of darkness, period. So just a few things to consider and keep in mind. I hope you're edified. Till next time, we'll be in Shalom.